Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Before you skip this video, just continue watching, please. I promise you will not be disappointed. Um, I've been waiting for this day for so long. Um, basically from the time I found my Pokemon cards from when I was a kid. Um, recently, I sent in a bunch of cards and these are probably the most valuable cards in my collection as far as right now. This video probably the most meaningful PSA return because it's all my cards from my childhood. So I've got them here. I'm so excited. Um, these are probably the most valuable cards I have in my collection, like I mentioned. But also these cards I um, threw in a binder, but I also played with them a bit. So um, I'm kind of interested to see what kind of grades we get. But um, yeah, let's just get into it, guys. So first card of the day. Whew, I'm really nervous. <laughs> um, I will mention too, there's two cards um, in this submission that aren't vintage from like base set or um wizard of the coast era there are two from hidden fates or no one from hidden fates and one from champion's path so but the rest will all be from wizard of the coast i think the best way to do this is i'm gonna put a sticky note uh, maybe on the front like this just so we don't reveal the grade too quickly so let's look at the back and let's see which first card this is i'm really nervous okay blastoise um looking pretty good like i said i played with these cards as a kid so a bit closer definitely a lot of whitening on the sides and edges on the corners beautiful card love blastoise this is from base set unlimited and let's see what we got we got a seven okay that that's honestly not that bad um considering i used to play with these a lot as a kid me and my brother so a seven is pretty solid. Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna try to go through these kind of quickly because I know I don't want to make this video too long. Um, so yeah, let's see this card. Um, they're in a random order, so I don't even know. This looks pretty good from back. Centering looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna try to cover. Okay, Nido King. Man, beautiful card, base set. Let's see, see what he got, Nido King. Six. Okay, that is probably <laughs> more accurate. Um, like I said, these were in a binder, and me and my brother used to play with them a lot. So a six, Nido King. It's pretty pretty good. A six. That's probably what I'm kind of thinking everything's gonna be around six seven, just because I played with them a lot. But you know, these are gonna mean a lot to me down the road. I don't know which ones I'm gonna sell and keep, but I'm just super excited to have these back. It's been I think like a month and a half which is still pretty quick turnaround, but but yeah, let's see what this one is. Okay, try to cover it, it's hard. Oh, Umbreon, okay. This is probably one of my favorite cards of all time. Like, I love this. I remember pulling this as a kid. Base set stuff, I don't remember as much because I was a lot younger, but this set I do remember. Um, Umbreon, dope card. The art is just incredible. Like that moon. Okay, and what did we get on the Umbreon? We got a eight. Wow, okay, <laughs> there we go. That's what I like to see, holy. I'm actually like very surprised on that. Like, very surprised. I thought I was gonna get like a sick, I wasn't even gonna send this in because I thought I was gonna like, um, there's some um, bleeding on the top there, even like damage, that's crazy, I got an eight. That's awesome though, I'm super excited with that. I'm, wow, okay. I'm probably gonna keep this in my collection just because it's such a sick card. Okay, let's try to get through this a little bit faster. Beautiful card, let's see what this is. Oh, Dragonite, oh my God. Probably one of the nicest hollows ever like made. Like look at the background, look at that like rainbow, just glittery, just a beautiful card guys. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Holy, okay, let's see what we got on this. We got a seven, okay, that's not bad. There was, I remember this card had a lot of hollow scratches, um, probably for me like touching it because it was so pretty as a kid. But um, yeah, seven, okay, that's that's not bad. I'm, I'm probably gonna keep this as well. Honestly, like it's gonna be hard to say bye to any of these. So um, beautiful card, super stoked on that. Okay, let's get through this a little quicker. That looks really nice. I don't know, this might be, let's see what this does. Okay, Alakazam, all right. Alka-Sam, base set. What did we get? A nine. 
Wow. That is insane. I did not I didn't even expect to get any of these cards in like a nine. Not even an eight. I was like, I'm not gonna get eight in any of these, but look at that. A nine. A nine Alkazam, guys. That is that is incredible. Sweet. I'm super stoked on that. Alkazam from my childhood collection. Doing pretty well so far, guys, I think. Let's see what this is. Okay. Kega scan. You can see, like, look at all the scratches on the hollow. This is probably gonna get like a six. Let's see. And what we get? We got a eight. What? <laughs> wow. Okay. Honestly, yeah, the card is actually in really good shape, other than, other than the scratching and like a few nicks, like the bottom there. There's just that, and I, I don't really see anything else. Um, it was a while ago I sent these off. I've sent so many cards since then, so I'm, I kind of forgot the condition a lot of these are in. But I'm really stoked on that. An eight. Okay, yeah, you can see look how much scratching is on the hollow, but I guess it made up for a lot of other places. Like the the centering looks like mint, like perfect, front and back. Corners look pretty good. It's just the edges and probably surface is what dinged it. But that's awesome. An eight. Whew. Okay, so as you probably saw from the thumbnail, there is a Charizard in here. Um, I don't know where they placed it in here. I didn't want to look at all. I didn't want to like see it. I'm really hoping we get a good thing, a uh, good grade on that. But I, I feel like it's gonna be pretty low. But we'll see. Um, I hope. It, is it this one? Let's see. Okay, this is the Hidden Fates Charizard GX. Super dope art. I think I've pulled like three of these. Other two at PSA. So what we get here? We got a ten. Yes, that is amazing. Charizard GX in a 10. This is my second 10 I've ever gotten. My first 10 was actually a Charmander um, from Hidden Fates as well. So that is amazing. A 10. Oh, so stoked. Okay. That's awesome. Okay, let's see what this one is. Back looks pretty good. Let's see. Oh, Venusaur. Okay. Venusaur is one of my favorite Pokemon. I don't know. I've came to the conclusion I really like Venusaur. I feel like he's underrated. Um, yeah, I just, I love him. This card's so iconic. Um, let's see what we got. Whew, what do we get, guys? What do we get in Venusaur? We got an eight. Oh my God. That is amazing. Holy shit. Okay. Guys, we're, <laughs> we're pulling bangers right now. Look at that, an eight. I thought this was, there's no, like, look at the hollow, the scratching on the hollow, but an eight, like to me, an eight is solid for cards that I had in a binder for what? It's been 20 years. Has it been? No, it's been 25 years, right? I could be wrong. I don't. I, I don't even know the timeline right now. I'll put it on the screen. Um, wow. An eight, guys. So stoked. Like I said, probably my, this will probably be my favorite PSA return ever. I don't think I can top it because all these mean so much to me. Um, come on. Where is where is this Charizard? Okay, Zapdos from Fossil. What did he get? It's a hollow as well. Okay, and an eight. Wow. Okay, <laughs> guys, we're pulling eights like crazy here. I'm shocked. I guess I took care of my stuff in a, in a sense. So I think it could have gotten a, possibly a nine if the centering wasn't so bad. Look at the look at the centering. Other than that though, like the hollow foil looks pretty good. Oh wait, is there a misprint? Oh, whoa, 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 I never noticed that. Wait, did you see that, guys? Literally a chip of the hollow is missing in the top left corner. I never noticed that. Is that, is that an error? Huh. That's crazy. We got an eight, though. Okay, I guess we got a pretty good grader today, <laughs> or like a lenient one, but I'm okay with that. That is awesome. Okay. So th th these two are both Charizards. I already know because I, I, I remember the, my submissions now for this. So these last two are Charizards. So let's see what they are. Obviously, PSA knew I was going to do this. <laughs> oh boy. The big boy. Okay. I pulled this um, a while ago. Probably, uh, not a while ago, like two months ago. I, right when the set came out. Probably the best art, best Charizard art ever. I'm gonna say that right now, my favorite Charizard art ever. This card, I'm keeping this 
till I have kids, you know, like this, this is staying in the collection forever, regardless of the grade. Okay, let's see what we got here. Back it up a bit there. Okay, what did we get? What did we get? We got a 10. I'm sorry, I dropped it. Holy crap. We got a 10. We got a 10. What? We got a 10, holy shit. <laughs> Guys, that is insane. That is a beautiful card, like a 10? Wow, I, I honestly, like, I thought I was gonna get a nine. I'll take, like, I'll take it. I'll take it every day of the week, but like, wow, a 10. Gem mint 10. This is probably like, probably the most valuable out of all of these, to be honest, right now, which is crazy. This is card came out this year and it's worth more than a lot of these, just because it's a 10 too, but pretty sure. I don't know. I'll have to do my research after, but wow. <laughs> okay. This last card is the Charizard Unlimited. Oh boy. Iconic. Like the most iconic card in Pokemon, I think. One of. There's there's so many, but this one is like the one that everyone's probably seen in their lifetime, if you're a Pokemon fan or not, so. <sighs> Drum roll, please. What did we get? I'm really hoping for an eight, but you know, that's being very optimistic. I feel like they're grading these a little harder because a lot of people are saying them in too, so. <sighs> Drum roll, please. Okay. I'm close my eyes, okay? I'm gonna close my eyes. I can't, I can't look. <laughs> what do we get? A seven. Okay, that's, you know, that's fair. That's a fair grade. Um, let's just take a closer look at this one. I haven't really done that as much in this video, so I apologize, but yeah, okay. Obviously they're the professionals, so. Looks pretty good though, like the centering is a little off. It might've been miscut a bit, I don't know, maybe that's why. But centering looks like the front, pretty good. Maybe like a touch off. This side's a bit thicker than this side. Like a touch. Top and bottom, maybe same thing, just a little bit. And then the back, same sort of thing. Wow. Okay. A seven. You know, I can't say it enough. Like, these cards mean so much to me. Like, I collected these with my brother. So, uh, when we were kids. So, to get a lot of these in eights and nines is just, just insane to me. Like, um... Yeah, let's just go through them really quickly one more time just to overview. Okay, so the one I just looked at, Charizard, seven, 10. I'm gonna lay them out here. Zapdos, eight. Venusaur, eight. Charizard from Hidden Fates, 10. Kegascon, eight. Alakazam, nine. Crazy. Dragonite, seven. Umbreon, eight. Amazing. Probably one of my favorite cards of all time, honestly. I love the black and yellow. It just looks so good. Nido King, six. Okay, that's probably the worst, I think, out of all of them. And then a Blastoise, seven. Guys, I'm so freaking excited about all these. Like, like I said, I'm not gonna probably ever get have a more exciting return. We're gonna show you guys really quickly. Wow. But yeah, guys, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you do like this video, please drop a like, um, comment, subscribe. Tell me what is your favorite um, card from your childhood if you have any um, from Pokemon or any other series even what is one card that you really love and you you cherish this day it's hard for me to choose because there's so many but I think honestly one of them out of these I think either the Umbreon um, I because I remember pulling this probably the this Umbreon or oh man it's so hard the Dragonite like oh, it's such a sick art like look at that how can you not and then obviously the Charizard um, but yeah, 
any of these are just my favorite they're so sick i'm so excited thank you for watching guys i'm just rambling now and i'm gonna have so many more returns i have like 200 cards at psa right now so i will be doing a lot of those once they come in so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video peace